In this tutorial, I am going to introduce what is Blazor WebAssembly. Blazor is a new web framework which has different hosting modules, including client side and the server side. In the client side hosting module, Blazor is designed to run in the browser on a WebAssembly based .NET runtime. In the server side hosting module, Blazor is designed to run in ASP.NET Core. In general, the client side hosting type is called Blazor WebAssembly and the server side one is called Blazor Server. Using .NET 4, client side web development offers the following advantages. Create rich interactive UIs with C Sharp and Razor instead of JavaScript. Share server side and client side app logic written in .NET. Render UI as HTML and CSS for wide browser support, including mobile browsers. Call into JavaScript libraries and browser APIs as needed. Integrate with modern hosting platforms such as Docker. Essentially, Blazor has a separation between how it calculates UI changes, namely the app component model, and how these changes are applied, namely the renderer. In other words, app component model is responsible for calculating UI changes. And renderers is responsible for how these changes will be applied. In fact, app component model is the engine room of the Blazor application. It includes programming model, routing and navigation, render choose. App component model with this functionality will detect changes. The detected UI changes will send to the renderers. Then renderers will apply these changes. At present, there are two kinds of renderers. One is Blazor WebAssembly and another one is Blazor Server. In the near future, there will be Blazor Desktop. Blazor Desktop enables us to create hybrid client apps, which combine web and native UI together in a native client application. Blazor uses different renderers or hosting modules. By using these different renderers, Blazor is able to create web-based UI. Blazor also able to create native mobile-based UI. This is the most important selling point of Blazor application. However, Angular, ReactJS, React Native that can only create web technology based UIs. Now we have a bit more of an understanding about how Blazor is working. In this tutorial, from now on, I want to talk the most interesting hosting model, the Blazor WebAssembly. The Blazor WebAssembly is a rich web UI experiences using HTML, CSS, and C Sharp instead of JavaScript. This primary hosting model is running on the WebAssembly. Blazor apps, dependencies, and .NET runtime are downloaded to the browser. The app is executed directly on the browser's UI thread. UI updates and event handling occur within the same UI thread. Assets are deployed to server as static files. Therefore, we can say that the Blazor WebAssembly is a true single page application with full interactivity. Utilize client side resources. Support offline static sites. In summary, this model offers a direct competitor to JavaScript based single page applications such as Angular, React, and Vue.js. In general, as we described it earlier, Blazor WebAssembly based applications run in the browser on WebAssembly. On top of the WebAssembly, build a .NET runtime. Then, build a Razor component that could compile into normal .NET assemblies. They are downloaded with the runtime in the browser and executed directly in the browser. Finally, browser sends UI events to the .NET codes, then the difference sent to the DOM and updated efficiently. 
This is the whole process of the Blazor WebAssembly based client side applications. In the following section, I will give some information how to get started with Blazor. First, go to this website, namely blazor.net. Then, download related packages. Second, install .NET 5. Third, install the latest version of the Visual Studio or install the latest version of the Visual Studio code with c -sharp extension. However, I am going to use the latest version of the Visual Studio 2019 community version. In the upcoming videos, first, we are going to create Blazor WebAssembly based applications. Then, explain the project structure. Then, we explain each pages, components, and uh, everything about the Blazor web applications. Thank you for your watching.